beautiful. Gibbs look good. The blood splatter I wish was a little bit darker. By the way guys, I wanted to let you know that my brand new course, Easy 3D, is totally free right now. Click below to enroll for free and you'll immediately be taken to the program where you're gonna learn how to make your very first 3D game. And here's the best part. You're gonna do it fast. And you really don't need to know anything about Unity or code or 3D modeling. It's really kind of easy and it's totally free. Click below to make your very first 3D game. I can't wait to see you succeed. Let's design a blood splatter decal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a bullet decal, sort of just copy over this decal projector here. This is a URP de decal projector. Let's take that and let's go to our spider. Blood particles die. I, 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 think, I think the decal will be in there. There we go, we got our decal projector. Let's test it out by putting a quad. Uh, I think we got a floor piece here, carpet floor. Yeah, we'll put that there just for now to take a look at what this blood decal projector is gonna look like. First question is, does it actually work? There it is, it's over there, okay. I think it is, look at that. What is that? It's a sh oh, it's because it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to face it down. Uh, well, let's see here. There we go, just like this. So that is currently gonna be 270 by 90 by negative 180. We can adjust the decal itself. Let's see, oh, gizmos. Turn on our gizmos. And we're gonna just do something like this. We're gonna actually, have, yeah, yeah. We'll have it at zero and it will project downward onto the floor, okay? So that looks great. We also have a material called bullet decal. I'm just gonna create one called blood decal. There it is. And I actually think I have a blood splatter already ready to go. There it is, blood ground pools, bang. So let's pull that on in to our new decal. First, we gotta swap it out, blood decal. Uh, we'll put it right here, there we go. And then let's adjust the blood decal to include the blood pool. There it is. Awesome, and it's also a PSD, so that means we can edit in Photoshop, no problem. So there is our blood splatter, guys. So obviously this is gonna be, need to be much, much bigger. Changing the scale of a decal doesn't do anything. Let's zero out the Y position. There we go, okay, so the Y position is zero. Ah, yes, okay, so we need to actually point it downward. There we go. So that, I think we could set that as zero, no. 90? Yeah, 90, I think we can do zero there too as well, yeah. Okay, so let's take a look, guys. I know it's kind of hard to see, so we'll turn off the, well, you know, it didn't really do anything when we turned off the lighting, but it's definitely hard to see, I know. So there is our blood splatter. We'll sit width of three by three, just like that. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so we're gonna save that. Opacity, I want it to be vibrant. So the real question here is, will this be forever in the scene? I think what I wanna do is have something like, after two minutes, it'll just destroy. So let's save it at 120 seconds. So we're gonna delete that. So the way this is gonna work is, when I kill an enemy, it's going to appear the blood particle effects and those will appear on the floor. But I'm gonna center those up inside of the enemy's body, just like that. That way, when the decal projector is pointed down, we should probably do a couple tweaks here to sort of push it down just a little bit, just in case it doesn't fully touch the floor, right? So let's disable and let's test it out, Harry. Y'all ready for this? Bom, 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 bom. Let's go. Beautiful. Gibbs look good. The blood splatter I wish was a little bit darker. So we're gonna go to the uh, blood decal and we're gonna consider opening that up and darkening it just a bit. Of course, cranking up the saturation as much as we can. Save it. So there's our decal projector. Crank up the opacity to 100%. Well, let's take a look with the outlight. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I kind of like it solid, like it's paint. You know, and also it needs to be a little bit bigger. Pretty cool. Let's uh, let's consider making it bigger, and I think we're good. You know, we don't want 
want to get too crazy here. We'll go to the spider here. Blood particles. Decal projector. Let's make sure it's still set to one. Uh, opacity is one. We're good there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to set this to five by five. I think that'll be a good size. Okay. And I think we should be good. Really good. Really, really good.